We also uh, reviewed some important facts about velocity and acceleration here. When you're speeding up, the acceleration and velocity have the same sign. When you're slowing down, the velocity and acceleration have opposite signs. Remember again, the acceleration doesn't tell you which way you're moving. That's the job of the velocity. Uh, for example, here, we were accelerating to the left while we were moving to the right. The velocity tells you which way you're moving. One last thing I want to point out is that kinematics generally ex uh, ex uh, displays symmetry. Um, constant acceleration motion displays symmetry. Constant acceleration motion display displays symmetry. You can see the symmetry here because the speed we had when we were moving to the right when we passed the 25 meters point was the same as the speed when we passed that same point when we were moving to the left. Um, so this is generally a feature of um, constant acceleration in kinematics. Um, so um, your speed when you pass a point going one way will be the same as your speed if you come back and pass that point again going the other way. Your speed if you pass a point going one way will be the same as your speed if you pass that point again going back the other way. First we passed the 25 meter mark going to the right and our speed was 11 meters per second. Then we passed the 25 meter mark going to the left and our speed was again 11 meters per second. Now our velocities weren't the same because the velocity also includes the sign. Uh, I hope that you've learned in your class that speed um, is a magnitude but velocity is a vector that also includes the sign. But even there you can see the symmetry. Um, when we passed this point to the right, our velocity was positive 11. When we passed it to the left, our velocity was negative 11. There was a clear symmetry involved in this constant acceleration kinematics. So you, can, you should start to look out for this type of symmetry and sometimes use it to help you solve problems in kinematics. Okay. Um, well, um, I'll bet that um, I'll, most people who tried this problem um, did not see all the insights that were here, especially um, the positive and the negative uh, square roots here. So again, if you felt you learned something from this problem, please, before you go on, redo um, the problem. And this would be a good problem to come back and redo again in a few days when you might have forgotten this issue to see if you can remember about taking the positive and the negative square roots.